All right. Next question from Dad Logical. Uh, do you remember the first Christmas you spent with Ben? And then a funny follow up. Did Ben get Zyler a gift for the first Xmas they were together? <laughs> Your son in law. I mean, Zyler. Your adopted son. Zyler doesn't know what's Christmas. He's a cat. Bah, humbug. <laughs> We spoil the cats all the time. Like, we don't do something specifically for Christmas, There's really. literally a, a hollowed egg cat bed under under the table right now. I, yeah. I don't think anyone's sitting in it. Oh. I see oh. a Menchie. There's a Menchie approaching. <laughs> Someone just walked in. Maybe she'll settle down. Uh, but the first Christmas we spent... We started dating shortly before mm -hmm. Christmas that first year. And you would have just gone to Florida. Yeah. Obviously, I wasn't going to come with you. We'd, be, we'd been dating for like a month or two, right? But uh, I, I vividly remember that because we were sort of talking all the time on the phone with each other. And I remember talking to you while you were in Florida. Yeah. My family would go to Florida sometimes for Christmas. Yeah. So I guess the next year, I think we did the whole like, my family is in Australia, so we weren't going to fly out there. But uh, we, we definitely went to Toronto, I think, or the GTA. Uh, the following Christmas. And I would have met your family around christmas if i hadn't met them already but we definitely did a christmas thing with your side of the family in toronto that first year we were really together i think mm -hmm. so what do you remember of it scary <laughs> yeah it's an intimidating thing to be around a yeah. bunch of your relatively new partner's family and i guess well, we've been dating for over a year at that point that's true we've been dating yeah. for almost exactly a year and yeah i guess i was really nervous about it and it almost threw me off that like... No one else cared. <laughs> people have met your dad on the channel, yeah. right? So they know he's a very gregarious, outgoing kind of guy's guy. Like there's nothing... He's not an intimidating guy. Mm -hmm. I think I was expecting to have that sort of like interaction with like, dad, are you good enough to date my daughter sort of nope. thing? <laughs> and that's just like kind of not at all what it was. And that threw me off so much. I'm pretty sure I came off like kind of a crazy person just because I was so thrown for a loop. I don't think I made the best first impression with your family, to be honest. Well, you're just a lot more reserved, I think, in principle, and like careful yeah. with what you say and thinking about your first impression. Then Especially I think, back then. Yeah, then I think my yeah. family was like thinking, they're just like, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, pass the soup. Like, yeah. whatever, whatever. <laughs> like, it's just really not a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, what do you, that's my memories of our first Christmas. What, what, what do you think? Do you have any anything to add? Well, other than that, I guess we didn't really do our own Christmas just with each other because that didn't make sense at for the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So for the first few years, we just went to my my side of the family because your family's always in Australia. It's only very yeah. recently that we ever did a Christmas that was just the two of us alone. Well, I think. was that two years ago? I think when we moved here, whenever when that we, was, yeah, would have been our first yeah. Christmas where we didn't go back to the GTA and we just did, or no, actually, yeah, well, we, actually, I think that happened. And then we did the Banff Christmas we went to Banff with Rob with, and Corinne, yeah. With Threadbanger, yeah. So yeah, we, we spent Christmas with, Christmas the, with the Threadbangers. our other types of family, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That's one of my favorite Christmas memories too. Yeah. Well, I've never gone such a, on such an extravagant trip before for Christmas. That was the first time I've ever done that. So. That was a pretty amazing, I, I'm... Re, I really wanted to go back, back to Banff this year mm -hmm. and we were kind of planning on, on it. On in the summer. Yeah, we were going to do it in the warmer months because the experience of Banff and Lake Louise and stuff in the cold months is completely different than like the sort of hiking and things you can do when it's warm out. Yeah. But uh, 2020 happened, right? So That's sad. Uh, too bad. Maybe next year. <laughs> Thank you.